Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me for some gentle yoga. Today we'll get started with some centering. We'll move into some movements connecting our body and our breath. We'll start, in, we'll start from the top and work our way down. And then we'll work on some grounding exercises. Finally, we'll finish off with a little balance pose and then the resting pose, Shavasana. So to get started, make sure you're really comfortable. So if you need some props, go ahead and grab any props. If you're on the smaller side and you'd like to sit back into your chair, but then your legs aren't quite at a 90 degree angle, feel free to either use blocks and place them under your feet to create that angle. Or if you'd like to use a rolled blanket or towel, feel free to do that for your legs. Or of course, if you'd like to just sit forward in your chair so that you have a 90 degree angle, that's great as well. If you're on the taller side and then you find that your knees are coming up, you can always place a blanket under your hips to bring you up a little bit. Also, if you like having a towel or something around your neck during Shavasana, well, go ahead and grab a towel or a blanket as well. If you also like to play music or have music playing during yoga, please feel free to put on a selection of your choice. Now for yoga, it's very important that you're doing what's best for your body. So what I'm saying are merely suggestions. And if it doesn't feel like it would feel good for you, or if it doesn't feel safe for you, um, experiment with movements within your range of comfort. All right, so let's come to a comfortable seated position. Knees are shoulder width apart. We're pretending they're on railroad tracks so they're parallel. Toes, ankles, knees, parallel. And take a moment to bring your attention to inside the room or the space you're in. Notice any sounds. And if you hear anything, I'll just try to come back to your body and come back to your breath. Now let's bring a little length to the spine pretending to push the crown of the head towards the sky. And if your chin comes up, bring the chin down slightly. If it feels comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. And now bring your attention to your own breath. Notice any thoughts, they may come into your mind, just acknowledge them and come back to your breath. Now on the next inhale, let's inhale for about a count of four, we'll pause at the top, exhale for a count of four, then pause at the bottom. So what we're doing is square breathing, just making sure there are almost four sides of our breath. Our inhale, pause, exhale, pause. And if you start to feel short of breath, bring your breathing back to normal. It's whatever is most comfortable and beneficial for you. Let's inhale together. Inhale, pause, exhale, pause. Go ahead and give this a try, moving at your own pace, evening out your inhales and exhales. And if you can pause, 
at the top of the breath and at the bottom of the breath. That's just perfect. Go ahead and bring your breathing back to normal. And take a moment to focus on an intention, something you'd like to invite into your life. For myself, I'd like to bring more grounding into my life. I find that when I'm out and about, especially now, I find that I feel unbalanced and a little unsettled. And so I just want to connect my body to the earth. Hold your intention in your mind's eye. Take a deep breath. Exhale through your mouth. And when you're comfortable, gently open your eyes. Let's inhale, floating hands up over the head. And exhale down. Two more times. Inhale, floating up. Last one. On the next inhale, I can grab the side of my chair with one hand. And I'll inhale, arm coming straight up overhead as if I'm picking an apple. Uh, now imagine this apple's a tough one. You're trying to twist it off the stem. And then on the exhale, cross your arm over your body and put it in the basket. Inhale, arm coming up over the head, shoulder down, and grab that apple. I'm twisting, I'm twisting, and exhale, drop in the basket. Last one, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Let's come back to center. Inhale here. And exhale. For my next inhale, opposite side, I can grab the chair with my hand. Inhale, coming straight overhead. Shoulders down, grabbing an apple. And exhale into the basket. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, bringing your hand to your side, inhaling here, and exhale, releasing your hands, let's inhale, shoulders come up to your ears, and exhale, let it release, inhale, bringing your shoulders up, and exhale, release, last one, inhaling, and exhaling, releasing. Now on the inhale, let's find some length in our spine. And exhale, bringing the chin to chest. Inhale, rolling the chin to one shoulder. And exhale, coming center. Inhale, opposite side. Exhale, center. Inhale. Set. Let's inhale, head coming up, and exhale, nod the head. Inhale, coming center, and exhale, gently shake the head. Inhale, chin coming down. Exhale, here. Inhale, coming center. 
And let's move down into our mind. So we'll inhale, placing our hands on our knees. And exhale here. And on the inhale, I'll roll my shoulders back, creating an arch. And then on the exhale, I'm going to push my hands forward, bending through the back, cat and cat. So inhale. Exhale. If it feels good, you can move your hands with you. Chin can come up. And then exhale, rounding the back. And go ahead, connecting your body with your breath. And moving at your own pace for a few more breaths. Inhale, coming center, and exhale, resetting. Now on the inhale, we'll gently Move our feet to the side, completely supported by the chair. And then inhale, gaining some length through our spine. And exhale, placing our hands on the back of the chair. Again, this is a suggestion. So if it feels good, you can give it a try. If not, you can just bring your left hand over to your right knee. So preparing for our twist, we'll inhale. Finding some length through the spine and exhale, leading with the belly button, twisting over the side. If it feels good, bring your gaze to the back of the chair. And we'll inhale and exhale here. Let's reset. Inhale, getting tall. Exhale, finding the chair. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, belly button first. And then ending with your head. And exhale, release. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, find the chair. Inhale, length. And then twist with the belly button. And then exhale, release. Now let's go ahead and work our way to the other side. We'll inhale here and exhale, bringing hands over to the chair. Inhale, finding length. And then exhale, leaning with the belly button. And then ending with your head gazing towards the corner or towards the back. And exhale, releasing. Let's inhale, finding length. Exhale, bring your hands to your chair. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, deepening. Inhale here. And exhale, releasing. Last one. Inhaling. Exhale, hands on chair. Inhaling for length. And exhaling. Bringing a twist to our spine. Inhaling here. And exhale, hands coming down. Let's inhale, making our way back towards center. And exhale, coming down. We're going to inhale, a foot out, heel on the ground or on the block. If you have a blanket, you'd like to shimmy it forward, you can go ahead and do that. And let's work on some ankles. So we'll inhale, flexing, and exhale, pointing. So inhale, exhale. And go ahead and connect your movement with your breath. And take some ankle circles in one direction. Opposite direction. Good. 
release. Let's inhale here. And exhale, sliding off the opposite foot. Heels on the floor, grounding into the earth. Inhale, toes come up. And exhale, pointing the foot. And we'll go ahead and connect your movement with your breath. circles to one side. And the opposite side. And relax. So bringing our foot back in, resetting. The last one was drop our hands. And then We'll inhale, bringing our fingers, so basically out like this, and then exhaling, making a little fist. So we're inhaling, making a web, exhaling, fist. And feel free to drop your arms by your side if that feels good. So inhaling, exhaling. Let's take some circles. And opposite direction. Good. So, I'd like to show you tree pose. It's a very grounding pose, if you will. So you'll have one leg that will be your tree trunk rooting into the ground. And then the other leg comes out to the side, so open through the hip. And then if it feels good, you can extend your arms up in the air as if you had branches. So there are different options for this, and I'll show you the three options, and then we can go ahead and get ready to do it. So option one, if you'd like to stay in your chair, you can shimmy over to the side slightly and then open up through the hip. And in this way, we're emulating that open hip and then really imagine grounding through this foot. So you might hear ground using the four corners of your feet. So using both sides, and then making sure that it feels like both sides of your heel as well are into the ground. If it feels good, you can pretend this is the tree and you would extend here. If you'd like, you can even use your chair. And you can either Kick stand here, so we're grounding through this foot, making sure the four corners, the front of our feet, the back of our feet are equally grounded, and we come into a kick stand. We want to watch out for our hips, make sure they're square, and then open through the hip here. You can use the support of your chair. You can even put your toes, excuse me, you can put your foot on your calf. You can come here. So feel free to use the support of your chair. Or if you even want more support from your chair, you can get both hands right here. Last option or third option is if you're close to the wall, you can even step back against the wall and have the wall for a little bit of support. Right? So this way, you don't need it at first, but if you feel like you, you're losing your balance, you can always use the wall. So let's prepare.
prepare for both sides in whichever manner feels best for you. All right. So I'm going to start with my right foot as my trunk. My heel is firmly rooted in the ground and I lift my toes, opening them and dropping the toes so that both sides of my feet are on the ground. And then I'll lift my heel and bring it down so that it feels like my heel is firmly in the ground. My opening through the hip. There we go. Finding your drishti or a gaze spot where you can look at and keep your focus. Good. So inhaling, grounding through that right leg. Checking to make sure your hips are square. And feel free to lift your branches. This is where the drishti is very important or your point of gaze to help you with your balance. If you can, imagine drawing your shoulders down your back. Good. And we'll hold it here for as long as what's comfortable for you. Good. Feel free to move your body, shake your feet, Give a little wiggle, and then we'll come on to the other side. So again, you have three options, one in the chair, one, another one being supported by the chair, and the third option being supported by the wall, if you'd like. So now moving over towards the other side, grounding down through my left leg, lifting my toes and slapping them on the floor so that both sides of the front of my foot feel like they're firmly grounded lifting my heel and slapping it down so that the heel feels like it's firmly grounded as well. Let's bring that opening through the hip. Now again, if you're standing up, perhaps your foot is right at your ankle or on your calf. If you want to bring it up even higher, you can even go over your knee. All right. So grounding through the left leg, the right hip is open, finding your dristi, engaging through your core, inhaling, hands coming up, bringing your shoulders down if possible. and holding it for as long as what feels comfortable for you. <sighs> Floating the hands down. Good. So to end, let's go ahead and get ready for Shavasana, our final resting pose. If you'd like to take Shavasana in the chair, Feel free to push yourself back, get as comfortable as possible. If you like having the support for your neck, go ahead and grab your props, your blanket, your towel, whatever feels good for you. So feet are grounded, legs are parallel. If you'd like to go ahead and take it onto the floor, feel free to relax there as well. All right, take any last movements before we settle in for Shavasana. Let's inhale together and exhale, bringing your eyes to a close. Deepening your breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth, taking the time to connect with your body. And I'll let you relax here for a few moments.
Let's come back into the room. Bring some movement to our body through wiggling our toes, wiggling your fingers. Eyes are still closed. If you're on the floor, feel free to roll over onto your right side, bringing your left palm into the ground in front of your heart. You're on your side. We'll inhale here and on the exhale, push yourself up with your left hand coming into a comfortable seated position. When you're ready, gently open your eyes. And if you have a prop around your neck, feel free. Put it away. <sighs> Let's sit up straight, bringing length to our spine, bringing the crown of our head to the sky. We'll inhale, hands up and over the head. Exhale, bring the palms of your heart hands together in front of your heart center. May you feel grounded balanced and at peace. Namaste.